Hi everyone, welcome to Science Tutorial for You. My name is Candy, and in this video, I'm doing Nervous System Part 1. In this diagram, you can see that this is the brain. The brain is connected to the spinal cord. And the branches that you see connected with the spinal cords are called nerves. The brain and the spinal cord together is known as CNS, which stands for Central Nervous System. The nervous system contains five sense organs, and these are eyes, nose, skin tongue and the last one is the yes all the sense organ have something on their surface a group of cells which are very important and it's called a receptor the function of the receptor the receptor has two functions. The first function is to, to detect stimulus. What are stimulus? Stimulus is a change in the environment. Example of change in the environment could be light, sound, heat, any of these. Now the second function of the receptor is to convert stimulus into electrical impulse. Why electrical impulse? Once they are changed into an electrical impulse, they can be carried by the nerve cells. When you were in T stage 3, it's alright to call it nerve cells, but since you are in GCC now, it's better to call them, and the actual name for them is neurons. And there are three types of neurons, sensory, motor, and relay. Let's learn the three types of neuron. All right, the first one is called sensory. Sensory carry electrical impulse from the receptor to the CNS, central nervous system. The second neuron, motor neuron. The motor neuron carry electrical impulse from the CNS to the effector. What are effectors? Effectors are either gland or muscles. So motor neuron carry electrical impulse from the central nervous system to the gland or muscle. The gland will start to produce hormones and the muscle will cause movement, which is the relay. Transmit electrical impulse from the sensory to the motor. So relay neuron connects the sensory neuron to the motor neurons and are found inside the spinal cord. Okay, so let's quickly summarize this. So we have a stimulus. We 
which is detected by the receptor. The receptor is carried by the sensory neuron, which is then the sensory neuron is connected by the relay neuron. The relay neuron is connected to the motor neuron and the motor neuron takes it to the effector and the effector causes response. Response could be a release of hormones or movement. In my second part of the video I will be covering reflex arc and synapses. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe, like and comment and I'll see you in my second part of the video. Thank you.